Hey everybody, welcome to Tiny Towns at High Noon. We are going to be playing Tiny Towns Town Hall mode today with our special guest, Andy Matthews from Meeple Mountain. Welcome, Andy. Hey everyone, glad to be here. Thanks a lot for the invitation. All right, I'm gonna run down the list of who's here right now. So I am John Zinzer, I'm gonna be your caller for today. And I am the CEO of Alderac Entertainment Group. Uh, next up, we have uh, Josh Wood. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm the developer of Tiny Towns, and um, second place every day. Today, I'm going to get first. All right, Josh is calling down the thunder. He's going to get first today. We've got uh, the boards of Rose and Luke Peterschmidt up there next. <laughs> nice. Josh, Hello. <laughs> Uh, our technical help today is Vladimir Orlana. He's all the way uh, from all the way from south of the border. <laughs> way south of the border. Way, way south, south of the border. Of the border. <laughs> uh, Ryan Dancy in his uh, in his worker garb is here as usual. Uh, we already said be safe. Uh, we've got Mark Wooten. Mark Wooten was our uh, was our winner on Monday, so Mark's already got one in the win column. You guys are all south of the border. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then finally, we've got uh, Peter McPherson, who uh, who won yesterday with a uh, with a, uh, an amazing poster strategy. Hi, everyone. Okay, so uh, just to remind everybody what we're playing with, I'm going to go over each of the cards here real quick. First, we've got the cottage, as always. Then we have the Abbey. It's going to be tough to play with the Abbey today, I think. If anybody wins with the Abbey strategy, I would be surprised. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. I made a mistake on the first day with Greenhouse. I didn't... Uh, <coughs> I didn't cluster my houses together. Uh, tavern. Fountain. Fountains like to be next to other fountains. The Bellagio. The Bellagio. Taylor. And finally, the trading post, which acts as a wild cube when it's on your board. Hey, Z, I just want to say, Abbey strategy, uh, Abbey greenhouse strategy, is, is actually pretty strong today. The Abbey Greenhouse strategy is pretty strong today. I don't know if that means that Josh is going to do it or he's trying to send somebody down a rabbit hole. I'm, just I'm trying something weird. weird. I'm going to try something out there. I'm predicting this is a bad day for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we are about to get started. So um, I am going to call the first item up for bid is Rick. Brick, everybody. And unfortunately, as the caller, I will not be playing, so. What's your background today, John? Uh, this is a golf course down uh, in, uh, in Mexico, I think. Very nice. A couple of different backgrounds for you all today. But uh, today I'm thinking I'm feeling a little golfy, so I went and searched out a couple of golf pictures. Right on. Okay. Next up, everybody, Wood. Wood is good. And then we will have dealer's choice, player's choice. I won't go too fast. I'm going to just, uh, the first one was brick, then wood, then dealer's choice. So today, I thought it'd be interesting if we talked about... Um, we talk about some of our game play highlights. These are things that, that like personal personal bests or you know moments that we've had while playing a game that was really exciting. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go first after I call the next item. Next item is wheat, wheat. So uh, a few years ago, years ago when we were doing CCGs, my um, I was never good at any of those games, ever. And uh, when Warlord came out, that game really spoke to me. And while I wasn't ever really good at it, there was a, there was a point when a new expansion came out and I discovered a strategy that nobody else had discovered yet. 
and when I went to an event and played in the office and played in the deck that I had that you know the first time I'd ever actually built a deck that worked um, I got that I got that amazing feeling that people ob obviously that are good deck builders must get when their opponent just starts to sweat a little bit and they're like uh oh um, I don't think I can beat this I didn't see that coming next up is stone stone was that the first time that happened john the last time or both <laughs> <laughs> wow that's a shot I understand oh. the question <laughs> I, don't oh. know the question. <laughs> I don't know if i understand the question uh okay so after stone it's going to be dealer's choice and we're going to call on mark wooten to tell us one of his one of his game stories mark's a high I'm building my monument he will have a couple of good ones for you too i'm building the statue of the bond maker sorry okay. i'm building uh sorry sorry i'm building a trading post and i'm, and I'm building a tavern uh, i'm Maybe building a trading post Next one. i'm building a tailor Lots of to call out. I built a uh, fountain last turn. I'm sorry, Andy. I did not catch that. What was that? Sorry about that. Forgot to mention. I uh, built a fountain last turn. Excellent. Excellent. Early fountain. Uh, okay. So we have called brick wood players choice wheat stone players choice. And the next one up is wheat. Another wheat. wheat. So how about it, Mark? Give us a story. Oh, there's so many, John. Um, Pick one, anyone. I um, actually, I think I think one of the most enjoyable things uh, was when we were testing Thunderstone one time. Uh, we were at Gen Con and we just released Thunderstone, and we were working on the new set. Uh, Mike Elliott was there, and the developers there, and we 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 brought a we brought a selection of new cards out, and uh, and I found a combination, and everybody else was doing something different, and was convinced there was a really strong strategy on the table, and uh, and I started playing with these new cards, and you said why why is Mark why is Mark doing that different thing, and then after I'd gone through my deck about three times without stopping, I remember Mike saying Mark you're ruining my game, um, I'm going to have to go away and redesign that. And, uh, <laughs> <Next> <laughs> and, uh, and that was a lot of fun. Next up is glass, everybody. Glass. You'll notice that when we, uh, since we're all CCT players, we get this motion going a lot of times. This motion means that our deck is working. It <laughs> means our deck is working. Maybe, maybe we could have a game player's version of that emoji game that's going on. Um, on the internet at the moment, where you have to copy the emojis, you have all the different gameplay symbols. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to, uh, let's go to Josh Wood. Josh, why don't you tell us one of your stories there, partner? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll tell a, um, appropriate story about Tiny Towns. Hey, uh, next up, hold on before we start, Josh. Next up is Dealer's Choice. Dealer's Choice. Okay. I'm um, building a tailor. Peter and, um, Peter and I, you know, were playtesting the base game, um, you know, to uh, like for, for the longest time. And um, the strategy that Peter used yesterday was one that I discovered, um, which was like a really big moment, which was when I built two warehouses, I completely filled them up. And then I built the architect skill to destroy, get rid of those three, um, those negative six points. And I turned them into very useful buildings. I didn't do it with the cloister, but uh, I don't remember what I built at that time. But I remember it was like a very strong thing, especially because it kept me in the game a lot longer. So I got to the end of the game and I had like seven empty spaces. And I just got to build whatever I wanted. It's a big moment. Very exciting. Okay. Next up is wheat. <laughs> a lot of wheat here early. A lot of wheat. I don't know if wheat is an optimal call in the setup, but you never know. We have some professionals here today. <laughs> I, I, will say, I will say that today I've already done 
the um, my biggest strategy advice for Tiny Towns is to never put a cube down and not know what's going to happen to that cube. I did it with on the first turn with that brick, and okay. uh, and, and so I, I am actually worried today. I sometimes say I'm worried, but I'm really calm. Today I'm a little worried. <laughs> oh, you're going to win today. All right. Hey, Andy, how about uh, how, how about you? You want to give us a, a, a gameplay story while I call Wood, everybody? Next up is Wood. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of just in gaming in general. I have four kids, and one of the most rewarding things uh, in the past couple of years has been uh, my boys and I, I have seven, nine, and 11-year-old boys, and we've been playing through this game called uh, Zombie Kids Evolution from Yellow Games. And it is probably one of the best gaming experiences that I've ever had with my kids. Uh, we must have played 30 games of that thing in maybe a month. It was it was crazy. Uh, it's just so much fun watching my boys work through strategy and tactics and decision making. Um, just really rewarding. So it was super awesome. Obviously, uh, Andy didn't get the memo that we do not promote Yellow's products on our podcast. Nah, we love Yellow. Yeah. Hey, next up for everybody at home is Dealer's Choice. Dealer's I am building my monument. Statue of the Bob. I'm building a greenhouse. Oh, Ryan. Building a greenhouse. How are folks out there on the internet doing there, Vlad? Any comments yet? No, I think we're slow on the comments due to change of platform. Well, so yeah. if you're out there um, it, and, and seeing this, did you did you post in the in the comments thread where they can get to, to, to see it? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. My monument, the mausoleum. I built the obelisk of the crescent. And if this means that everything's working, this means typing. Working, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> typing. Go. Uh, next up, everybody, is Stone. Nice. My deck is working, and I'm going to tell people about it. Alderac Entertainment Group Sign Language. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to Luke. Luke's always got good stories. Luke, you got a story for us? Sure. Um, I'll include Ryan in the story. Uh, we're at Wizards of the Coast, <laughs> and... Uh, and we are invited to play Dungeons and Dragons with uh, Peter Atkinson and uh, uh, Ryan and me right and my wife. Right on. on. Yes. <laughs> and, and my wife, who had never played Dungeons and Dragons before. So um, Ryan just proceeds to trade my wife for an imp at a bar, which is pretty good. <laughs> we got a really good deal. Yeah. <laughs> Is brick. <laughs> I believe the last time Lynette has ever played Dungeons and Dragons. I think you're right. Wow. I'm sure you're correct about that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. I think she was just disappointed that you didn't hold out for a better deal. Yeah, one M. Yeah, so I, when I made that deal, she looked at me like it was the most shocking thing she'd ever heard in her whole life. <laughs> <laughs> So Tom Franklin, Emily Garrick, and Pound versus Pound all reply on the chat to let us know that they are here and they're watching the stream. Awesome. <laughs> okay, last one of the deck is Dealer's Choice. Dealer's Choice, everybody. Last but one. Put down a cottage. Can't be right. It is absolutely right. I am building a cottage. Craziest strategy. Yeah, I think Peter was delighted in that game that we uh, we really embraced. I think the the Chaldea ethos of <laughs> backstabbing and yeah. Uh, so we had the yeah. we had the D and D third edition brand manager there, Jonathan Tweet, Peter Atkinson, me, and a first time. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. All right, so I am shuffling up the deck for the second go through. Um, I am going to take a few minutes to talk about something awesome. Let's talk about the Tiger King. If you have not watched the Tiger King on Netflix, you are missing out, people. This is the greatest stay at home, get rid of a day TV show on the internet right now. We highly recommend it. It is unbelievable. Let's talk about Netflix products. Netflix. Netflix. Only. 
It is unbelievable. Okay, everybody. And the Tiger King says glass. 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 Building. Oh, my God. You have him on your thing. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, all right. I am building a tailor. Very good. Very good. So this TV show is about a group. I think we talked about it a little bit yesterday, but it's about a group of um, people that own personal private zoos and they collect big cats and there is a massive amount of drama between the five different people that own these things um centered around this guy who's on my screen the tiger king um so please um you know hopefully you'll take our recommendation and go see it because it is a good way to spend a day not family friendly not family friendly thank you not family friendly okay Amy Emily Garrick says that she just completed the Barrick Castle, and Jeff Abramson says he just built the Mandras Palace. Nice. How's it going, Emily? Emily's a friend of mine. Wood. But it's like a lot. Wood. All right, I'm building a fountain. Finally making my greenhouse. I can talk to you about my Dubai coffee mug here. For quite a while, I have been collecting these Starbucks coffee mugs. That's St. Andrews. It is behind me. That is St. Andrews. We have plenty of stories about St. Andrews. I don't know if we'll tell that one today. But uh, when we were traveling with my wife, we um, we had a, a one-day layover in Dubai. And so we got to our hotel and immediately went in search of a Dubai coffee mug, which was the most expensive coffee mug we've ever uh, Bob, yeah. my wife lost her brand new iPhone in the taxi cab while we were on the way to get it. Want us pull a bead. Next up is Dealer's Choice, everyone. Dealer's, Dealer's Choice. Choice. I'm building my second tower. I'm building oh, Grove tower. University. Grove University for Andy. Andy, why don't you tell us a little bit about Meeple Mountain? Yeah, sure thing. Meeple Mountain is a uh, board game media outlet. We do written reviews and video on uh, MeepleMountain.com and Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Meeple Mountain. Uh, we've been going now for, we're in our fifth year. We've got a writing team of between 20 and 40 uh, people. And we do, right now, we're doing five to seven pieces of content, articles, humor, reviews, that uh, that sort of thing a week, and uh, and a couple of videos a week as well. So it is great thanks a lot. Out. Come visit us. <laughs> Andy's a, a friend of the family here, so we, we highly recommend him. Okay, next up, everybody. Stone. 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 I'm going to zoom in and see what Luke and Rose's boards look like there. Well, they look pretty empty at this point. You know, empty. one of one of my favorite things about playing town mode is that I can just, the buildings I want to build, I can just group like if I wanted to make a cottage next, like I can just kind of put these three resources next to the side. So I guess my choice, I just know what like I need immediately. It's very helpful. And I don't telegraph what I'm doing to anyone. Next up is wheat. We hope you needed some wheat. Wheat. I did. I am building a fountain from last turn. Nice. Nice. Anyone else going for abbeys and cottages like I am? See, I, I told you it's a strong strategy. Okay. I'm doing it. No What's taverns or sailors for me. I'm actually trying a fountain strategy. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna work. But <laughs> yeah, no, we'll I'm going strong fountains as well. I'm definitely gonna have some. I, I, if you can win with the fountain strategy, you will be, you'll be immediately added to the development team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Next up is dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Okay. I'm building, I'm building another tailor. Another tailor. How many tailors is that? I'm you building got two, my two second tailor. Two tailors. Okay. Tailors are so hard to make work. So yesterday we played with the cloisters, and the cloisters um, score points for the number of cloisters you have in the corners, which uh, just makes them makes them easier to deal with because they're sort of out of the way. The, the tailors, they gum up the center of your board, and as most pro players will tell you, um, you want to build around the edge before you get into those center spots. Okay. Yeah. Next up is <laughs> stone. We've got laughing coming from the Peter Schmidt household. 
<laughs> most pro players never told me that little tip. <laughs> Where have these most pro players been in my life? I think they're on the pro circuit. <laughs> so, uh, so Kyle Nunn, Kyle Nunn, our director of sales, is here with us today. Uh, why not? You got a story for us, Kyle? Absolutely. Uh, and being an ex Magic player, uh, I went to a regional cash tournament once and uh, was able to meta the meta uh, when uh, a uh, uh, standard changed over. Uh, so a card came into print that uh, Thalia, it's a 2 1 creature that increases the cost of spells by one. And I slid her into the sideboard of blue white humans when I was uh, meadowing, while I was in grad school. And everybody decided to play blue black control that time. And so I ran rampant through the tournament and did not take a single loss wow. and walked away with a good little cash prize. Very nice. All right, we're going to give you some wheat for that excellent Magic the Gathering story. Wheat. Wheat. Well, sadly, I feel like I'd be winning right now if I was actually playing. Of course you do. <laughs> see, see, I'm going to tell you, you've been, you've been giving some really good calls today. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, when I'm Are not you? playing, I do my best to be an excellent caller. I do my best to be an excellent caller. All right. Next up, if we are ready, folks, dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Dealer's what have we gone through in the deck so far? So far, we have gone through two weeks of stone and a glass. Hold on for just a second there, Marky Mark. We've gone through glass, wood, dealer's choice, stone, wheat, dealer's choice, stone, wheat, dealer's choice. I am building a cottage. I did call that last dealer's choice, right? Yes? Yeah. All right. No brick all the way through. So far, no brick. That's the Marks and Taylors. And still no brick, everybody. Glass. Glass is the next call. Um, how many Taylors do you, do you have, Mark, since you just tipped your hand at what you're doing? Uh, I have no Taylors. I'm not playing any Taylors at all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't know why you didn't want to brick then. I love how the best players don't have visible boards. <laughs> hey, what are, you, what are you trying to say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You're, you're not going to beat down there. Hey, 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 hey. He's he doing all of this stuff. He's like doing the, 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 the magic. That's right. right. He's well, playing in public. Well, I, I, I promise I'll, I'll work on getting a, um, uh, a camera so I can, I can do that soon. Right on. That, that was another wheat, right, John? Was another wheat, yes. Sorry, are we on a fresh are we on a fresh run through the deck here, John? Oh you just went no, glass and then wheat. Okay. We still got multiple so cards here. I have some messages. Gay Man to say that he's playing with his ten year old and he he's enjoying the game. Also Jeff Abramson is saying that he finally beat built his trading post and is better later than never. Uh <laughs> So, so of our players here on the on the AEG feed, how many people have trading posts built? Oh, we don't have a lot of trading posts. Interesting. All right. So uh, next up is dealer's choice, everyone. Next up is dealer's choice. Got to be a break. Building my third tailor. I find uh, trading my posts to be. Trading post. <laughs> I find trading posts to be very good, but it's tough if you because like you know greenhouse is a very strong way to get points in this setup and you know that's going to get in the way of those nice little cottages which i think is what pete is doing mm -hmm. yeah i built a i uh, built a cottage okay, yeah built a green house for me finally we got some brick, that brick? We got we got another cottage got about some time brick. yeah that's gonna be it. i'm sorry was it, did you just draw john did you draw a brick I drew a brick, just like I used to shoot when I played basketball. Brick. <laughs> That's not true. It's not completely true. Uh, okay, Ryan. I don't think we've gone to you for a story yet. Uh, you got a gameplay story for us? That um... yeah. Just before uh, I moved to Iceland in the early two thousands, or the middle, just before twenty ten. Uh, Luke and I had a business. We were running out of Las Vegas, 
and I had the opportunity to go play poker every day at the win. And I played with some of the same people every day, and I got to know this guy who always made this move where he would go all in with ace king after the flop if he had nothing. And there was a day when I had a pair of twos, and he did the all in move on the flop with nothing, and I called a rather large bet. It, would, it could be described as a mortgage payment with, with a pair of deuces. And the dealer looked at me and he said, sir, you're my hero. And then he dealt the crappy board and I won this enormous pot with a pair of twos. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm sorry, was that last call? That last call was brick and now it's another brick? Another brick, a brickety brick. Who, who, who is running the show here? That's a little awkward actually. Right, I'm gonna have to use my monument to discard that brick. Um, yeah, I have to think for a moment here. It's, it's a little bad for me. Um, wow, this is so weird. I need bricks quite a lot, but this is just not. Not the right moment. Want, not what I want right now. Let me think about. I gotta puzzle out how I'm gonna get myself out of this. Ooh, Peter's asking. Peter's going on the clock. He's asking for a little extra time. <laughs> Yes, I am. Okay, that will that will work. I'm excited about my uh, my cottage strategy. It's cottage and fountain, and I'm really lucky because I am I've got like cottages kind of like tessellating around each other, mm -hmm. and so far I have been fortunate enough that I have been able to build one, and then immediately be able to build into the spot next to it. So I'm hoping it's continuing. You have your greenhouse built. You and I are playing the exact same strategy because that's exactly where I am too. All right. Don't forget to feed them. I'm going to give you guys a dealer's choice. Do you guys have your greenhouses built for your strategy, or are you waiting on those? I have the mausoleum. I don't need to feed my cottages. Right. Got You're the not a full of dead people. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that's exactly what I needed. Another it's, cottage. It's the zombie town. I'm coming for you, Mark. I'm coming for you. I think Why? I better just get this Every out. time you don't draw wood or stone, I get another village, so, or cottage, so don't draw those. Well, I'm playing fountains as well, so I'm okay with wood and stone, too. I'm not. <laughs> and you've done a good job calling so far. Don't, don't, uh, you know, hurt me here. All right, now it's time to talk about our prize for today's winner, toilet paper. <laughs> winner today. Well, in the future, that'll be called Buttcoin, and it'll be the thing. Buttcoin. Buttcoin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do not want to mind that. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. We are on the third run through of the deck. The third run through of the deck. <laughs> And we are ready to get started here. First card out of the new deck is Stone. That's good. Stone, oh, I'm, oh, oh, oh. I'm now building around my uh, my trading post, so more or less anything works. I'm a little Emily, uh, Emily Garrick, I noticed your question in chat about if you're supposed to have a resource on top of your trading post. You do not put anything on the trading post. The trading post just counts as a wild brick for any structure you can build in that pattern. And it's a it wild it resource. changes every time you build it. A wild resource. That's right. Yes. It changes every time you build. To be clear, okay, so it can count as any wild resource that you want for a current build. Yeah. Yes. Right. On that square. You have to fit in the pattern. In the pattern. Okay, everybody. Next up is Brick. Brick. Wow. Good cottage. Going in the cottage. Not what you wanted, Josh? No. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, like, is that like actually where I want to put that? Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's not really what I want either. Yeah, it's going to go there. All right. Ooh, I'm a little scared. Next up is dealer's choice. And as you can see, I've changed my background. That is the Mystic Veil vale digital game behind me. Um, we're not doing a lot of shameless self-promotion today, but our partners at Nomad have recently released this product on the Switch. You can play it on. Um, you can play it on your iPhone, right? You're on your phone yep. and your, um, your iPad. You can also play yep. it on. 
your computer. Uh, it's I'm available. Sorry, you can play it on your computer. It's available yeah. on Steam. Yeah, it is. Yep. It is such Mac, a Mac good... PC. Hey, I, I don't remember. Did you get a Switch? I did not get a Switch. I actually delayed one day, and then the prices on them shot through the roof. So I'm behind the eight ball on the Switch. So I, I have a rule is question a, for the uh, designer. A message when you want something, buy it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. Uh, I have a rule question, question for the designer. Sure. Okay, I, I have two trading posts next to each other. Yep. And I have the obelisk of the crescent, which lets me build anywhere. Yep. Can I just fill my board full of fountains? Uh, no, because at least one of the resources has to be in a square. Okay, awesome. Thank so, I mean, as long as gray and brown are called, you can make fountains really quickly. But no, you cannot auto-fill your board with fountains. <laughs> but, oh, oh my god, like, that would have been the best. Yeah, problem. you're taking up his fun. Would, everybody, would. This uh, is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, of course. That's exactly the line of thinking that we want our people playing our game. So, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason that ABG made the conscious decision to move from a CCG company into a board game company. Because CCG players spend their life trying to do exactly what Luke was <laughs> trying to do for this game to their CCG, and board game players usually don't do that. Oh, man. Uh, right, I am building a fountain. Install. We're going to wheat next. And, oh, I, and I am you. out of Thank the game. You, Z. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Dealer's choice next, right? Uh, I'm out. It is going to be dealer's choice. If you would like to jump ahead, Mark, it will be dealer's choice yeah, next. I, I am, I just, I just I am building a, a third tailor. Two. Um, I gotta think. Oh man, I'm doing that a lot lately. Uh. So when I uh, when I use the statue, of the bond maker, to put a resource on a cottage, is that resource still available for building, or is it just lost? No. It's lost. No. It, no. Okay, it, good. It's just I, waited. Down. Yeah, I interpreted that correct. Very good. All right. So in case you missed that, when Mark asked, the next resource is dealer's choice. So this okay. round we've gone stone brick okay. dealer's choice, 19. wood wheat dealer's choice. I'm building another cottage. Well, Mark, said, Mark said that today was going to be bad for him, but it sounds like today might be good for him. No, I, I, what, what I'm doing, John, is I'm, I'm working to not embarrass myself. So my score is not going to be great. It's just going to be not be bad. All right, everybody. Glass. Glass is the next call for today. I did terribly. <laughs> terribly. Yeah, I'm not feeling, not feeling too great. I thought this was going to be... I thought it was going for the easier strategy of cottages and fountains, but... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, well, not working out. Your cottages, Mark. It makes it a lot easier. Need a good flip here. And they don't have to be next to each other, so... They are next to each other as it happens, but yeah. Next up is Brick. No. Next up is Brick. That is acceptable. So um, also on the... Uh, so since we're recommending things to do with your spare time here... Um, I'm building another cottage. I have, uh, we're watching American Idol this season, and it's really good. There are a lot of, uh, I think American Idol is still the best of the, you know, find talent and turn it into stars. And I think this season is going to be amazing. I think there's going to be some, I think they're going to make some stars again this year. And if you're not watching Survivor, wow, it is good this year. It is good this year. Okay. And I am out. Oh, no. Dealer's choice, right? Dealer's choice, everybody. Dealer's choice. Andy is out. I'm building a fountain. And if you call wood or stone on this next turn, I will have a completely full board. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Mark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wood. He knows what he has, and he knows what you have. Would I Maybe. use my trading post to make a final fountain, all of which are connected to each other? Wow! Well done, Mark. Oh man, that's going to be pretty good. Yep. Up a little higher there, Andy. Thank you. Up, oh, we've lost you. <laughs> We're losing you. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was trying to show my board. I called wood, okay. and I'm going to call wood again. Oh no! Double wood. That's got to hurt. Yeah. That has got to hurt. Wow. Um, the breaks on that one, they're super cheap. 
No more wood. No. Oh, yeah. That is really awful. I get, we got lucky without much wood this game, but... Dealer's choice, everybody. Dealer's choice. You could use that for wood if you want. Hey, who's that that we have adding, joining our feed there? That is my that is my special guest. Come here real quick. This is my oh, oldest son. Hi. Hi. Hey. Howdy. Hi. Fighting Tiny Town well. player, right? Good to see you. All right. I am envious of you gaming with your kids. I've got two wonderful daughters. And um, they are not gamers, and neither is my wife. In fact, my Christmas gift the last year, the year before last, was that they played code names with me once. So, all right, next up, everybody, is Stone. And that's not 100% true, actually. My wife really, really got into Ticket to Ride. And then Mark came and visited. And, he started and Mark destroyed her. And he broke her. He showed her all of the min-maxing horrible things you can do to that game, and she has not played since. Thanks for that, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think Mark volunteered to pick for couples therapy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My only gaming experience destroyed by a min-maxer. Okay, everybody, Glass. Glass is next up. Who is that? Oh, Pete's board's looking good still. Pete's board's looking yeah, good. Okay, I don't think we're going to be Mark, but I'm pretty content with this. Dealer's there. choice. Dealer's choice. Oh, there you go. That'll fix your board. Yeah, I think there has to be That's a rule. But if you, if you rope a dope and say, there's no chance I'm going to win, or I'm, you know, I feel like I've made a mistake early in the game, and then you end up winning, you are no longer allowed to rope a dope in this thing. <laughs> are you shuffling up, John? I am shuffling up, yes. Oh, that makes this hard. Uh, I have a uh, friend of mine who will constantly say, oh man, I'm doing so terrible and just, you guys are just really beating me and usually it wins or comes in like a pretty close second. So I've just started ignoring it. Uh, you're, you're... That said, I did just destroy that. <laughs> Years ago, we had a, we had a, 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 a distributor sales guy, I think his name was Stan. It was a, a, just a, a, a southern boy, and he was a great L5R player. And he would sit down at the table and be like, oh, gosh, jolly gee, that is such a good move, and I can't believe you're doing that. And, oh, what if I do this? And, oh, I guess I just won. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I, I just won. Like All right, everybody, I'm going to give you a brick. I'm going to give you a brick. We're coming down to the end here. Uh. Jeff Abrington has 38 points. Woo, what? Jeff, well Ooh. done. Emily Garrick has 37 points. Ah, wow. Bauer has 27 wow. points. All right. The, the people on the internet bringing it today. I love it. Crushing it. Well, it. one of those scores beats me. <laughs> one of those scores beats you. So Mark has 37, everybody. Okay. I'm going to give you some glass. Uh, I'm give you some uh, glass. That's it for me. Pete is out. Is there anybody else that, still playing? That's, 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 I'm still I'm playing. Out. Shocker. Ryan, I'm still playing. I've got two spots. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to give you a dealer's choice. Put whatever you want in one of those two spots. Put it in your cottage. Now I'm dead. Yeah, I'm going to okay, be out. Everybody. I'm going to drop in two cubes and start scrolling. Brick. Brick. You know, you know, Z, everything was really, really nice when this first started. Uh, like, I, I want to kind of show my board. Um, I built, you know, three tailors, then two tailors, then one tailor, and then too much wood started coming up, and then that just kind of completely knocked me out. I have, so I have five empty spaces. Board, uh, it is not good. Five empty spaces, and I would go all the way back to the fact that you placed that brick without knowing what it was going to be. <laughs> probably the reason that happened, everybody. So wood, the moment. more wood here, folks. I can see that we have three spots on Peter's board left. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm oh, all done. All right. I have 16 points. Is there anybody else still playing? One spot. We're One out. spot. Dealer's choice. <laughs> Yep, I got, I got 34. I'm out now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, everybody, I'm going to run through the rest of the deck reasonably quickly here because the last player in the live feed has already finished in case you guys are still playing at home. So the next one up would be Brick. Stone. Dealer's Choice. Glass. Wheat. Dealer's Choice. What was your score, Pete? Stone. 34. We and yours, Mark? 37. 37? Dealer's Choice. All right, so everybody, let's get some scores here now. We're going to start on the top here. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Mark Wooten. You have 37? 37. I have six fountains, eight cottages, and a um, trading post in my thin, thin but well-hydrated village. All right. And you have the, and you have the uh, Grand uh, Mausoleum of the Rodina. Yes, which means the cottages don't have to be fed, which is why all my guys are thin but well hydrated. All yeah. right, that's good. You're up. Um, I, I, I have um, thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, is that oh. another second place? Well, maybe enough to get you second again, Kyle Nunn. How many do you have? Thirty-eight. Wow. Oh, good. Oh, oh, Kyle, Look at that. I have four tailors in the middle of my town. Wow. Nice. Very good. Yeah. How much did you have? I had 34. 34. Like I said, my, my luck just ran out right there at the end of that last tailor. Oh. You had 16? I want to say that I built a wonderful board and I did everything right and got 16 points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have 34. Yeah, 34. Uh, Vlad, did you play today? Yeah, I got 14 points. 14 points? Yeah, I'm but terrible at tiny tones. Yeah, you didn't no. lose. Rose, how are you today? Rose has walked away, but she asked me to do this for her. <laughs> <laughs> and she got, she scored a 12, uh, her worst score yet. Uh, I scored 32. You? How many do you have? I had 32. Ooh, pretty good, 32. I think it's the first time I've beaten Rose on this thing, so. Wow. Pretty good. Okay, we got it's, Ryan. It's, it's, not, it's not a game without a, without a Peter Schmidt board flip. And our <laughs> special guest, Andy Matthews, how many points did you have, Andy? I got 25. Not as good as, uh, sorry, sorry, 24. Sorry, 24. Well nice. done, Andy. That's a reasonably Very good feeling nice. there, folks. So, <laughs> at least I beat Vlad and Ryan. Josh, I have, I have a question for you. Someone is yeah. asking why the four Ironwood is worth so much points and is so easy to build. One more time? Why uh, four Ironwood is so much, it's worth so much and it's so easy to build. Uh, but that means that whenever it is your <laughs> choice, you are not allowed to place a resource. Mm. Um, so you are at the mercy of the deck once you, once you build a Fort Iron Weed. Yeah, Josh and I agree. It's definitely one of the higher skill monuments to win with. Um, it's a, it's a tough one, but winning with Fort Iron Weed always feels pretty good, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, this is um, this is day four of uh, Tiny Towns at High Noon. Tomorrow, we are going to be, um, we'll actually be previewing a new card, the, one of the cards that's currently in development and has not been published yet. Um, we want to thank Andy for stopping by and playing with us. Andy, you're welcome to join us again in the near future if you'd like to. We really enjoyed having you here, and um, we hope that uh, all of you guys... Um, have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow at noon. Look for, uh, Vlad, can you tell the river we're going to post that card so they can make a copy of it before we play? Yeah, well, we're going to post that during the live stream. We're not showing it until we are live. Well, we need to post it earlier than that so people can download it and play with it. Okay. We, will, it. we will make sure that that carries preview tomorrow before the stream. Okay, fantastic. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for playing. Stay safe. Stay home. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.